My BFI player choice this week is a polemical visual essay by Nina Menkes, the American independent filmmaker who became a powerful voice in modern cinema thanks to films like 1991's Queen of Diamonds, securing her reputation as someone whose work sits in direct rebuke to the Hollywood power structure. In this case, that power structure is depicted as the unholy trinity of the male gaze, employment discrimination, and the grim reality of misogynist violence, recently highlighted by the Me Too movement. Brainwashed, sex, camera, power. These images are coming from an industry that is built on power imbalances, which results in sexual harassment and abuse in the workplace. And the cycle goes round and round. Based on the talk, sex and power, the visual language of cinema, Menkes' film switches between the director delivering an illustrated lecture, group discussions of the issues raised, and interviews with an impressive range of filmmakers, including Julie Dash, Penelope Spheris, Rosanna Arquette, Eliza Hittman, Catherine Hardwick, and more. We also hear from Laura Mulvey, who first wrote about cinema's male gaze back in the 1970s, and who is as surprised as anyone about how little has changed since then. Focusing on shot design, camera movement, lighting and narrative, Menkes controversially argues that the sexist tropes of cinema are so pervasive that even some women filmmakers are as likely to reproduce them as men, taking particular aim at the opening shot of Sofia Coppola's Lost in Translation and the all-male heads of department credits of Catherine Bigelow's The Hurt Locker. Now personally, I think those points are debatable, as are Menkes' use of out-of-context clips from films like Julia de Cornell's Titan, which to my mind misrepresent the movie. But maybe that's the point to spark a debate, to get people arguing and discussing issues which are too often brushed under the carpet as yesterday's news. A terrific Hermann-esque score by Sharon Farber lends the project a distinctly cinematic edge, ensuring that even if you don't agree with everything that's being said, you still engage with it. <laughs> 